Hey guys, it's Sunday, November 8th, and this will be the final update from the garden for 2020. Another year is coming to a uh, close and winter is quickly approaching. Uh, this is normally a lot later than I do a final update, but we've had an incredibly warm day today. It's kind of been the theme for, for weather for this year. When it's supposed to be cold, it's warm, and when it's supposed to be warm, uh, it's been pretty frigid. Uh, we got a really early frost this year, which was uh, rather unfortunate. But today we're going to go through all the uh, the yields that uh, that we had from this garden for the variety of plants that uh, that we put in. We'll also give you kind of a monetary value and uh, and see how much we actually uh, produced out of this garden. Now, for those of you who are relatively new to the channel, uh, I live in Zone 3V. And in our kind of corner of northwestern Ontario, we get really cold winters. Um, the growing season really only gets started in June and comes to a close pretty quickly in September. If we're lucky, uh, we get a couple, you know, we can get some warm, uh, warm weeks in September, but the light level just really drops off quite noticeably, so the plants slow down quite a bit as soon as September rolls around. As a consequence, I start a lot of things inside, get them in the ground when they are uh, seedlings, uh, and give everything a head start. It usually works out, uh, works out quite well. Now again, to make things easier, I plant everything in raised beds. They're four foot wide. I do most of my plants at one foot spacing, so three across, and wherever I can get away with it, I put a layer of weed guard down. I cannot stand weeding. Uh, I enjoy gardening, hate weeding, so the weed guard is fantastic. For most of the plants, after I transplant them outside, do an initial weeding around the uh, the base of the plant, I really don't have to touch these, these beds in terms of weeding uh, for the vast majority of the year. So if I can get away with it, um, I put weed guard down. Obviously for plants like uh, beets and onions, it's just too tedious to put the weed guard down. So for those, uh, for those beds, I do, uh, I do have to uh, weed them. So we grew about 30 different kinds of vegetables in the garden and I'm trying to get down to one variety of each uh, specific vegetable. Uh, it's really easy to get carried away, but I've cut, uh, I've tried at best to simplify things. So I have one variety of cabbage and, and uh, broccoli that I do. We pickle as much uh, as we can and we also freeze um, any vegetables that we don't use. Uh, if something does freeze well or pickle well, we'll usually try and plant it uh, in abundance uh, in the garden but even then you know even with trying to limit the varieties we're still kind of really short on space and things don't last uh, as long as you think they do we got a really good crop of pickling cucumbers um, we made an, quite a few jars of, uh, of pickles even with that they are gone our last uh, our last jar got open today so uh, we're still kind of tweaking the the amount of each plants that we uh, that we're planting uh, and trying to maximize what we get out of this garden. So without uh, without further ado, let's get into the totals uh, that we ended up uh, yielding from uh, from our beds this year.
that's it for the 2020 garden. Looking forward to next year, 2021. I think we can do better. 860 pounds is pretty good. Uh, but if I'm going through my list, I, there are a few places we can do better. We had a couple beds that were underutilized this year. The pumpkin bed, there really wasn't much else growing in there except for the pumpkin. Uh, if I'm looking through the list, um, the asparagus bed should produce more as the years go on. There are still a few juvenile plants in there um, that we're not harvesting from. Uh, but next year we should be able to, uh, to start harvesting from them. So that total should go up. We had a lot of cauliflower plants that didn't end up producing. The bugs got at them. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. A lot of our cabbage plants, again, the bugs got them. So they didn't produce. That was unfortunate. Uh, another, again, hopefully next year we can, uh, we can get more. The carrots had a lot of carrots that didn't germinate. Um, so we only, only harvested 10 pounds, where I think the previous year we had harvested closer to 50 pounds of carrots. Um, blueberries, that total should increase. Now the deer have stopped eating the tops of the plants. The three center plants uh, should be about six feet tall at full maturity, so they should produce a lot more uh, blueberries, and hopefully some of them will actually uh, make it in the house. I don't think we're gonna do corn next year. It takes up a lot of real estate, uh, and uh, didn't really produce all that much uh, in the way of cobs. The kids had a lot of fun with them, uh, but I think that space could probably be uh, better used. Hopefully next year the frost uh, stays away for a little bit longer and doesn't uh, doesn't kill the, the beans before they uh, they produce and uh, the last thing that jumps out at me is the beets even though we did harvest 45 pounds of beets out of a relatively small area I noticed a lot of the beet plants were still on the small side a lot of them are really small actually I'm gonna try planting them starting them inside next year and then transplanting them out. It's a little bit more work, but I always find I get a lot more uniformity um, and a, they get a lot bigger generally than if I just direct sow them in the, uh, in the ground outside. So, looking forward to next year. I am doing a little bit of work in the planting room, just getting rid of some stuff, cleaning up a little bit. It's a little bit early, but I find that, you know, before you know it, it'll be time to start planting again. When that time rolls around, there doesn't seem to be any time for anything else. So, well, I've got some, uh, some free time getting the uh, LED grow lights in, uh, making sure they're all working, getting everything cleaned up, organized, and ready for next year. Now, it's been two years since I've started posting videos on YouTube. This is actually the hundredth video that I've posted on YouTube. I don't know where the time has gone, uh, but it's definitely interesting looking back at the older gardening videos. I don't even recognize the garden from, from two years ago. I'm thinking back, we were still building beds, didn't have any of the paths finished. Uh, so even you know in the short time that I've been posting videos there has been quite a dramatic change uh, in the garden and there's been quite a dramatic change in the number of people watching my channel oddly enough I started this year alone with 50 subscribers and I think I'm at hundred and ninety two subscribers so thank you and hopefully you guys are finding some of the content useful uh, or at least enjoy watching me uh, working out, uh, out in the garden. Alright, well, that's about it for now. I will see you next time.